Wait the f*** up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Ladies and gentlemen, we set out to make the greatest game that was ever created. The game that will inspire more fandom and fan theories than the second coming of Jesus. The game that will be worshipped as the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. The game that was expected to redeem your lives, your broken marriages, your depression and the Covid pandemic and the world hunger problem. The game that will bring about world peace in an instant. The game that was supposed to be the promised land of video game perfection that finally transcends us into the fourth dimension of gaming. It is the game that we announced way back in 2013 when Barack Obama was still in office dropping bombs and taking Iraqi names, when Taylor Swift was still changing boyfriends every other week and releasing new albums and when the game itself was all but a mere name on our chalkboard. We had no fucking idea what we were going to make, but the marketing bull was unleashed on you at full force. It was the time when we were still three years away from the release of probably the best game we will ever produce, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So you might think we have been developing this game for 8 years, but no, don't get us right. We have not done anything other than the concept meeting for the next 5 years, just like your average IT company. We set out as a product company, but on the way we completely forgot about it. After all the hype, the excitement and the delays that went longer than the British colonization of India, we finally released the game, in a state that was poorer than an American high school on the day of a mass shooting. And in an instant, we saw our reputation that we have built over the years go down the gutter faster than our stock prices. The game had more lines in advertisements than it had in actual code base. What we envisioned as the most advanced and innovative gaming experience ever, unsurprisingly, turned out to be one of the most innovative lying and marketing experiences ever in the history of capitalism. Our game was supposed to have the most advanced AI ever created and it ended up having the most advanced bugs ever produced in a video game. Staying true to the working conditions of our employees, the NPCs in our game just roam around aimlessly like zombies, deprived of sleep and any sort of meaningful daily routines, teleporting and taking their own lives in a jiffy. We made sure you threw away your last-gen consoles and your two-year-old graphics cards as the game ran slower than my paraplegic grandma on anything other than the latest graphics cards and consoles. In our quest to make the greatest game ever, we took the money out of your pocket in the greatest heist in video gaming industry, the kind of heist that GTA 5 cannot give you. When we kept on marketing the game on last-gen consoles, securing millions of pre-orders on those platforms, denying the game to be shown on anything other than NASA's basement PCs and eventually making the game actually run worse than my dead grandfather on those machines. Because fuck you and your feelings. Ladies and gentlemen and all of you who pre-ordered our game, we present to you Cyberpunk 2077, a game that was 57 years too early. Disclaimer. Remember, it's not the game that was a problem. It's you, your old generation console and your 3-year-old PC and PC. CDPR out.